The elements of a computer system. A computer is an electronic device that performs tasks based on instructions given by the user. The computer system works starting with the data entered by the user, then the computer processes the data and produces the output. A computer system is composed of hardware and software. The people. People are the most important part of the information systems technology. It is the people or the end users like you and me who will operate, input the data, and use the resulting information to our personal and business lives to be productive and make effective decisions. The end user is a person who uses a computer or a network service. Procedure Procedures are the set of guidelines and rules to follow when using hardware, software applications, and data. The procedures are usually written and well-documented in manuals that are included in most software packages. Software and hardware manufacturers provide written documentation for their products so that users may be able to learn and maximize their productivity using they have mastered the equipment and the software. Software Software or programs or instructions to tell the computer how it should do its work. The main purpose of a program is to process the data or the raw facts into usable information. For example, in a company, the invoicing program would give step-by-step -step instructions to the computer as to the number of items the company has sold price of each product and add them so that they would know the total sales for the transaction. Software has two kinds. It is a system software like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. While the application software is like Microsoft Word, Adobe Photoshop, or AutoCAD. The hardware. Hardware is the physical equipment that implements the data processing so that useful information may come as a result. Your typical computer hardware would include a mouse, a keyboard, a monitor, printer, CPU, speakers, and other devices that may be included in a computer hardware setup. Hardware needs software for it to run smoothly and do its specific task. Hardware are the physical parts or components of a computer. Input or output units like mouse, keyboard, monitor, and so on. The memory unit or storage device has two types. These are the random access memory or the RAM, the read-only memory or the ROM, the central processing unit or the CPU, and the communication devices. Input units convert data and instruction into electronic form for input into the computer. For example, a keyboard, a mouse, camera, scanner, microphone, graphics tablet, OCR reader, and touchscreen. Output units convert electronic data produced by the computer system and displace them in a form that the user can understand. For example, a monitor, a printer, speakers, headphones, plotter, projector, and TV screen. The central processing unit is the electronic circuitry inside the CPU case where the operations of data and information are controlled and where programs are executed. Also included inside the CPU case are the motherboard, microprocessor, power supply, random access memory, the CD drive, the hard drive, and graphics or video card. 
The memory unit is where the programs and data are stored. For example, a hard drive, CD drive, USB stick, DVD drive, Blu-ray drive, and SD card. Communication devices are components that connect the computer to the internet and other external devices. For example, a modem, a network card, a Wi-Fi card, and the Bluetooth. The data. Data includes text, numbers, sounds, images, and video that are still unprocessed. These are facts and facets of records that we input into the computer and then once processed may yield the desired information. Data exists in many forms like numbers, text, image, or information written on paper or bytes stored in electronic memory. Connectivity Aside from the five information system technology components, Another important element of a computer is connectivity. Connectivity allows the computer to access and share data and information that are available somewhere else. This connectivity usually means an internet connection. An internet connection comes in many forms, such as a telephone line, through wireless connection, or through cable. Connectivity will enhance the user's capability and usefulness of their information systems technology. And to be a competitive user, one must understand all these essential parts including connectivity so that one may be effective in his particular workplace or home application. Thank you for listening. 